Hello guys, this is Abby from Witchcraft Criminal History. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Well, we're doing the second episode of The Missing Person Files. Okay, let's get into it. We're doing it on three cases today. And we're doing, the first case we're doing is on Noel Acton. Okay. Noel was last seen on the 6th of November, which was a Tuesday in the year 2007. He was last seen in Martin in Western Australia. He will be 50 years of age today. He is male, 174 centimetres tall, thin, long dark hair, brown eyes, tan complexion. He has a 5 centimetre scar on his wrist. With, and a small scar on his chin. Noel Acton was last seen at his appointment at 4.30 p.m. on the 6th of November 2007 in Martin, Western Australia. His vehicle was located at his, at his address in Gosnell. He left everything behind in his home with the exception of his wallet and the police have serious concerns for his welfare. If you know anything about Noel Acton's, please contact Crime Stoppers. The next case is, is on Marie Agostino. Marie was last seen on March 13th, which was a Tuesday in 1984. She was last seen in Footscray in Victoria. She will be 65 years of age. She's female, 157 centimetres tall. Medium build. She has brown hair, brown eyes. She's Caucasian. Marie was last seen at her home in, in, in her, at her home address in Footscray on the 30th of March 1984 when she told her children that she was going out for a walk for about an hour. However, Marie never returned home. She left behind two young sons. If you know anything about the disappearance of Marie, of Marie, please contact Crime Stoppers. The next case is Renee Atkins. She's been missing since February 16th, 1984, which was a Thursday. In, she was last seen in Naroma, New South Wales. She will be 40 years of age. She's female, 91, centi 91 centimetres tall. She is thin, blonde, blue eyes, fair complexion. Renee was five years of age when she was last seen by her mother on the, around about 11 o'clock at night on February 16th, 1984. She was last seen in her bed, you know, at home, in Aroma. When she was awoken about four in the morning from her son Brad feeling cold, and when she went to go and see her, her son and checked on her daughter, she discovered that Renee wasn't in her bed. And this was about four in the morning. There was a big search for her because they believed that she was abducted. Now the SES was involved. You know, looking for the area, there was also um, sniffer dogs were involved trying to find where little Renee disappeared to, but they couldn't find anything. They strongly suspect that Renee has come to foul play. Until this day, there has been no there has been no sign of this little girl. There's been no evidence. This is a compository sketch of Renee, what she would look like today. If you guys know anything about any of these cases, please contact Crime Stoppers. The phone number 
is down below because the piece of information which you have might be the key to unlock these mysteries and to solve these mysteries and give these families closure whether to bring their loved ones home in one way or another okay if you like this video please like and subscribe have a great day and blessed be